We are talking about our fat nutritionist syndrome intervention because it is always easier to give out advice than it is to take it. And we have a celebrity edition today. We're talking about Gordon Ramsay. Now, I actually like Gordon Ramsay a lot. He's got that whole like hot British thing going on. And plus, he was a footballer, even though it was English football. Still okay, still cool. And he can cook. You guys think Gordon Ramsay's sexy? If you can cook, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely sexy. All right, good, that. good. All right, well, we're talking about him because Gordon Ramsay's been giving out all kinds of crazy advice on kitchen nightmares, yet he's having some issues of his own. Bankruptcy, not quite yet, but very close, and he's been closing down restaurants. So, fat nutritionist syndrome intervention. First of all, is Gordon even qualified to give this advice if he's, you know, kind of sucking it up in his own business? Barry? I think he is qualified, Carol, as long as he's really being honest with all his ups and downs. If he says he's never made a mistake, then he's not qualified. But if he says he's been there, he's dealing with it, and he's going to be reborn, I still follow him. I still want him to cook for me. Still want him to cook for you? Sure. All right. Do you want him to cook for you, Mike? Um, yeah, definitely. He can definitely cook for me. But, uh, when it comes to advice, I would think that advice, the consumer has to recognize advice is specific to a time frame. Because when someone's successful and sharing advice, that's working then. But times change, and the definition of success that I get there changes too. Therefore, his advice back then might not be good now. All right, so how, how does he take his own advice? I mean, what can he do to learn from the situation? He's got this you know, cha huge chain of restaurants. You know, they're closing, nobody's going there. So how does he take his own advice? Well, probably he's got to get back and get small, right? Go back to the core, what worked, what didn't work. You know, many have, successes. Have you, do you know Gordon Ramsay? Get small? I mean, come on. Well, I don't know Gordon Ramsay, but a lot of folks. You don't know Gordon Ramsay? I don't know him personally, but a lot of folks in his position, they get that thing they call the Midas touch. They think anything they touch turns to gold. So the hand gets big, the head gets big, and he thinks he can do anything. All right, got to so, get small. So I think we're talking about ego, and Gordon Ramsay, ego, I think, is bigger than all three of us. Well, maybe <laughs> oh, two, I don't know. Well, at least bigger than yours. So, <laughs> so how does he get past his ego, Mike? My ego is too big to hear the question. <laughs> you dirty. Um, yeah, so you, I think you have to get back to basics. I mean, I'm, I'm saying the same thing Barry is, but to me, it's just repackaging in a new way. And that's what we love about you, just repackage it in a new way. Just articulate what I said. I have nothing new to share. But he was building a brand. That's where his expertise were. He's a strong personality. People were consuming that, and he was trying to build restaurants. It's a whole different game. If he's great at building a brand, keep building a brand, and don't do the stuff that you're not good at. Okay, so he's not focused? Is that what we're saying about Gordon? I think that's part of it, but we have to understand that, again, he was good at being on a reality TV show, giving advice. It doesn't mean that he could run a chain of restaurants. That's a whole other different kind of business. All right, so fat nutritionist syndrome intervention. Gordon, get back to basics. Thanks.